Well, that was a little tighter than I think many of us thought it would be. <laughs> Luckily, the uh, Packers got away with a win. Live to fight another day, you know? The Jaguars, we'll see how, how formidable they are for other teams going on this season. Uh, I have a feeling they're, uh, they're not the pushover that they've been in previous years. Um, today, nutrition today. Uh, woke up, had a quick meeting at 8 a.m. at Collectivo Coffee, and I got a iced coffee and a uh, fruit salad there. Um, I wasn't entirely sure how to estimate how many carbs were in the fruit salad, um, so I sent that off to Mike, my trainer. Um, that's the cool thing about Mike. Even though he's an online coach, he's as approachable as a, uh, a real coach here and that I'd had down the street. Um, in the sense that I could take a picture of my food, send it to him, tell him the ingredients, and he can estimate what the macros are. So, um, so I'll expect something like that from back from him tomorrow, um, just to estimate for future reference. But um, I think I'm gonna have to go around to some of my most frequent stops, like Collectivo and uh, uh, Noodles and Company and uh, Panera Bread. A number of these places that are kind of standbys that are in a number of towns that I frequent a lot during shoots. Um, and just pick whatever the highest protein and most manageable levels of carbs and fats meal there is on the menu so that I can just have it as a standby and a go-to because it's kind of hard to think about it all the time. Um, but then for the rest of the day, uh, uh, you know, I had a protein bar, did have a beer today, 12-ounce beer, Oktoberfest, as a matter of fact. <sighs> Still working on it a little bit. Patron Saint from Wisconsin Brewing Company. Not overall a huge fan of Wisconsin Brewing Company, but Patron Saint is really, really tasty. You don't have to deprive yourself uh, to be on a good nutrition kick, folks. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, and then my main meal for the day was I got a, a Chipotle burrito bowl. Um, but because I was a little bit further along in the carbs in the day than I normally am... I ended up giving ha getting half the normal serving of brown rice, um, which cut my carbs down by like around 15 grams or so. Um, and that actually allowed me just enough room, just enough room for a serving of Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia. In terms of my actual food choices today, maybe a little more not hugely health conscious, but I didn't exceed the macronutrients, and that's the key. I'm actually still in a little bit under my macronutrient estimate for the day, so um, so a cheat day defined in this current uh, program is exceeding my macronutrients for the day, exceeding my calories. I didn't do that. So uh, again, there isn't a need to, de to deprive yourself at all to be you know, eating nutritiously, even eating like I am with a goal of weight loss, which means I'm constantly in a caloric deficit and I'm constantly like, you know, ish hungry. Um, even with that, I can still have ice cream from time to time. So, and a beer every day. So just got to do the math. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Packer game. Uh, every team that I follow one this weekend, Packers, Badgers, Liverpool, love it, uh, over Leicester City, uh, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon.